Hello dear fans. Where is silicon used? Silicon is one of the most abundant elements on earth. This non-metal is most often found in the form of stable compounds. Unique chemical properties make it possible to use silicon in science, technology, and everyday life. How silicon is mined? Silicon is the second most abundant chemical element on earth, after oxygen. It is rarely found in its pure form in crystals, much more often it can be seen in the composition of various compounds and minerals spar, flint, quartz sand. To isolate pure silicon, chemists react with quartz sand with magnesium. Silicon is also smelted at high temperatures and even grown. The Zokrowski method allows the use of pressure, temperature, and silicon compounds to obtain crystals of a pure substance. Everyday Life Silicon compounds are actively used in everyday life and human economics in industry. Quartz sand is used in the production of glass and cement. The silicate industry is named after silicon, whose middle name is silicium. Silicates are used in agriculture for soil fertilization. Silicate glue is also obtained on the basis of silicon compounds. Radio electronics. Silicon has unique radio electronic properties. Pure silicon is a semiconductor. This means that it can conduct current under certain conditions when the conduction band is small. If the conduction region is large, the silicon semiconductor turns into a silicon insulator. The semiconducting properties of the nonmetal silicon led to the creation of the transistor. A transistor is a device that allows you to control voltage and current. Unlike linear conductors, Silicon transistors have three main elements, a collector that collects the current, a base, and an emitter, which amplify the current. The advent of the transistor triggered an electronic boom, leading to the creation of the first computers and household appliances. Computers Silicon's advances in electronics have not gone unnoticed in computer technology. At first, they wanted to make processors from expensive typical semiconductors, for example, germanium. However, its high price did not allow to put the production of germanium boards on stream. Then the daredevils from IBM decided to take a chance and try silicon as a material for the heart of a computer system. The results were not long in coming. Silicon boards turned out to be quite cheap, which was especially important at the very beginning of the inception of the computer industry, when there were a lot of defects and few potential buyers. Today, silicon chips dominate the computer industry. Pure silicon crystals for processors and controllers have learned to grow in factory conditions, the material is easy to use. And most importantly, silicon made it possible to double the number of elements on the processor every two years, Moore's Law. Thus, there are more and more transistors and other gates on a silicon circuit of the same size. Silicon made it possible to make information technology as efficient as possible. Thanks for watching.